Hi guys, welcome back to Read to Me TT Bedtime Series. We have an interesting and enjoyable bedtime story that we'll be getting through shortly. I have with me my elder daughter Samara who will be assisting me uh, with this reading. Uh, before we get started, however, I would like to especially congratulate and commend Elena and Kevin from the Read to Me TT team for the tremendous job that they have been doing during this pandemic, keeping children engaged. We know that school's out, so children are not in the physical school, so that they've been doing an excellent job still trying to keep children engaged in a meaningful way with this Read to Me series. So great job, Kevin and Elena and team. Continue your good job. Tonight is actually the 64th consecutive story night. So 64 nights consecutively, they have been doing this, and it will continue as long as school remains closed. So excellent job, Read to Me TT. Uh, in terms of introduction, I'll get that out of the way. My name is Samuel Badri. I am a curriculum officer with the Ministry of Education. I attended Naparima College. I pursued a degree in education at the University of the Southern Caribbean. I then pursued a master's in sports management at the University of Trinidad and Tobago. I taught at the primary school for seven years and at the secondary school for nine years. So I've been in education practically all of my adult life. Um, that's the academic side. The sporting side, I've represented Trinidad and Tobago in cricket, in different formats, in Liste, in first class, as well as T20. I've also represented the West Indies team in T20 cricket. I've been part of two World Cup winning teams in 2012 against Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka and most recently in 2016 against England in India. Many of you might remember that game for Carlos Brathwaite in four consecutive sixes to win. Um, I've always had a love for physical education, education as well as sport. And Samara, what, why don't you introduce yourself? Okay. Hello, my name is Samara Jolene Badri. I am nine years old and I attend Cedar Grove Private School. My hobbies are dancing. I like to swim. I like to read and I like to play games like hide and seek and tag. Okay, Samara, what have you been doing during this pandemic, during this COVID-19 break from school have you been enjoying it what are the positives the positives are i get to stay home i get to wake late in the night and get to late in the morning and yeah i don't have to leave my house i don't have to get dressed for school and that's kind of fun okay and in terms of the negatives how has this impacted you negatively um i don't get to see my friends from school or my teachers I don't really get to go outside unless it's from my house outside. I don't get to go to any restaurants or anything. Okay, so there are some pros and cons. And I'm sure you are looking forward to when school does reopen so that you can get back out there, meet your friends, meet your teachers, and get your education back en route. In the meantime, however, we want to continue with the bedtime stories. Uh, we all know that these past few weeks, you guys have been at home. Uh, you have been he heroes in your own rights by staying inside and flattening the curve. So, let's get straight into it tonight. We're going to read a story. It's entitled, The Crumb Bunch. This book was written by Heidi Fagerberg and published by Caribbean Reads. Okay. Well, let's get started. I hope you all are locked in and ready to go. Hello, my name is Larry. I live on the island of St. Kitts at the Gallery Cafe on Independence Square. I am a lizard. 
I'm not sure what kind of lizard I am, but I know that I am very special. Larry, can you please be quiet? I'm trying to relax over here. I look around to see who has so rudely interrupted me, and I see my friend Mr. Green. He is frowning. Mr. Green, why are you in a bad mood? I am in a bad mood, Larry, because you are disturbing my peaceful sunbath. Why are you talking to yourself? First of all, Mr. Green, I did not realize I was disturbing anyone. Secondly, now that you are here, I am no longer talking to myself. I am talking to you. May I continue? As I was saying, Mr. Green, one thing that makes us lizards special is that we eat bugs like spiders and flies. Larry, first of all, there is nothing special about eating bugs. Secondly, right now you're eating crumbs, not bugs. And thirdly, you are talking with your mouth full. That's disgusting. I swallow my crumbs and ignore Mr. Green's rude comments. Mr. Green, did you know that lizards live in Asia, Africa, Australia, and other continents too? How do you know that, Larry? I think you are lying. Mr. Green chirps. How dare you call me a liar? I answer angrily. It's the truth. Percy told me. He is a pigeon and he flies everywhere. He knows. Percy also said that lizards can change colors. Well, I know I can. Mr. Green says. I have just turned colors. I change colors when I get upset. Can you change colors, Larry? Taunts Mr. Green. Yes, I reply, although I know that I can't. Then prove it, Larry. Change colors, says Mr. Green. Mr. Green, I don't have to prove anything to you. I skitter away. I am disappointed that I lied and sad that I am not as special as Mr. Green is. He can change colors. And I can't. Good afternoon, Larry. I look up and see Percy perched in his regular afternoon spot under the poor poor tree. I'm afraid to answer him because I might cry. He looks at me, his head tilted to one side as he does when he is puzzled. Why do you look so sad, Larry? Percy coos. Percy, you told me that I am special, but Mr. Green can change colors, and I can't. And that's not the worst part, Percy. I lied to Mr. Green. I feel horrible. I just need to be by myself. I turn away and walk so that Percy cannot see my tears. Wait, Larry. Maybe I can cheer you up. I finally found out what type of lizard you are. Percy cries. This stops me in my tracks. I have been longing to find out this information. Percy, you found out what type of lizard I am? Please tell me. Larry, first, let me hear it. Who is special? Oh, come on, Percy. Not again with... The special chant, I hiss. Yes, again! Squawks Percy, stamping his feet. I know when Percy does that, he means business. Okay, okay. I am special, I say. Larry, who is special and why? Me, I am. Because I am me, I shout. Wait, Percy, where are you going? We are going to find Mr. Green. You need to apologize. Okay, I reply, scurrying after him 
although I am not looking forward to admitting to Mr. Green that I lied. Percy and I see Mr. Green sunbathing in the distance. We head towards him, but before we reach him, he calls out to us. If you are coming to see me, don't bother. I am going home. I would prefer not to hang out with a liar, says Mr. Green. Wait, Mr. Green, there is something I need to share with you, shouts Percy. But Mr. Green must not have heard him because he skittered away. That did not stop Percy. He kept on going after Mr. Green. We finally caught up to Mr. Green under the trees by his home. Mr. Green, I understand that you are upset with Larry, but I know what type of lizard you and Larry are. I really want to share this with the both of you. You know what type of lizard I am? Mr. Green asks. Yes, I sure do, replies Percy. Mr. Green, you are a panther anoli, and Larry, you are orange-faced amoeba. I am an amoeba? I am so excited to finally know this, but I still have to admit to Mr. Green that I lied. Mr. Green, I have something to tell you too, I say. I am sorry I lied to you. Mr. Green was quiet for a few seconds. I wondered if he was going to accept my apology. You know what, Larry? You admitted you were wrong and you apologize. That takes courage. I accept your apology. Mr. Green replies, I am really surprised that he is so forgiving. I really do have good friends. Percy, Mr. Green, I have an idea. I know we are all very different, but I feel like you are all my family. Can we give ourselves a family name? That's a great idea, Larry. Percy coos. He is so excited. He starts jumping from one leg to the other. Let's choose a family name that shows the things we have in common. What about the lizards? Mr. Green suggests. Mr. Green, we can't be the lizards. Percy is a pigeon. Wait, I know. Percy chimes in. We all have the crumbs here at the gallery cafe, right? So let's call ourselves the Crumb Bunch. Great, Great idea. idea! Chorus Mr. Green and I. And that's how we ended up with the name The, the Crumb Bunch. Bunch. And that's the end of our story for tonight, boys and girls. Uh, we want to encourage you to tune in every night at 8 p.m. for a bedtime story from the Read to Me TT team. We hope you had fun reading with us. But before we go, we just want to share something that is very important. And we hope that you are listening. Listen very carefully. Do you want to be little superheroes? Samara, who's your favorite superhero? Captain Marvel. Why is Captain Marvel your favorite superhero? Because she's a girl and girl power, of course, and also because I love her superpowers. She could fly. Excellent. Well, my favorite superhero is um, Captain America because I have muscles just like him. <laughs> yeah, sure you do. <laughs> okay, so you guys can be little superheroes too, but here's what you have to do. You have to remember to wash your hands, keep your hands out of your mouths, and to remind mommy, daddy, granny, anyone to always wear their masks if they are going out. You can even make a game out of it and sing happy birthday twice while you wash your hands with water and soap. We can do this. Why? Because, because we, we are, are in this together. together. That's all for now. All for now from us kiddies. See you all tomorrow night with a brand new story with two new readers. 
Take care, enjoy, sleep well, don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye. Bye.